Despite that everything that's going on with the new Bloxburg update, the outrage, the boycotting, the petitions, can't lie, I still love to build in Bloxburg. But obviously, it's going to be a little harder with the lowered wages. And because I'm refusing to work right now, I've actually had to delete one of my big builds. So that I could turn Simply Bubbly's Marble Manor into a pink palace. Okay, let's get into this. Unfortunately, as I said, I did have to delete one of my plots. This is real sad for builders, but unfortunately, I think this is the only way to go until they sort out this horrid update. And here it is, Simply Bubbly's Marble Manor. But this is one of my favourite pre-build houses in the catalogue. The exterior is absolutely amazing. The only thing I would criticise is that the colour scheme is a bit off. Ooh. Kicking a little bit. Oh. But thankfully that can be changed easily And whilst we're talking about changing the colour scheme This is what I am going for As I said I want it to be a beautiful pink palace And I do actually think that the exterior of the manor Is actually pretty similar to my inspiration But obviously the first thing I'm going to do Is pink and fight the hell out of this house pink, pink, pink. Girls, girls, girls. Colour scheme is going to be pinks and even more pinks Complemented with a touch of white and now moving on to the roof i honestly find it so difficult to find a texture which looks good almost getting there with the recoloring but obviously it needs more pink oh my gosh it is looking so nice i can't lie i mean seriously why does pink make everything look so much better that it would be a crime not to use any of the new items so what about this stained glass window oh my god i love it that is one thing i can say about this update i just love most of the new items but to be honest i'm not sure about that little rat restaurant it's cute and it's fun but do we really need it it was just so random so to make it look a bit more like a palace i'm gonna do some easy swaps so like here i'm just changing up the fence to a much more fancier one and i definitely have to get a balcony in right here sorry but how cute is that looking so basically i was staring at my pink palace for a good five minutes because i felt as though something was missing and then all of a sudden i received some revelation from boxberg heaven and it inspired me to do this so let me do a quick comparison and wow i can't lie i don't think i can even tell the difference and of course i'm just joking guys probably the only thing that both pictures have in common is the pink and you know what guys i am kind of liking the landscape i don't want to change it too much so i'm just going to change the color of the floor here to make it look like a pink pebble oh and i'm also going to get rid of this greenhouse thingamajig on the sides here i just don't think it really fits in with the whole palace theme again changing up the fencing and just look at the difference that it makes guys you know what the more i work on this build the more i realize how much of a good job simply bubbly has done seriously if you're watching hats off to you but like i said i don't really want to be changing up the landscape too much so instead i'm adding these pink flowers to add that splash of color and i'm not gonna lie low-key i'm lazy and think about it guys i still have the whole interior to redecorate so over on this side here i can't lie i really really feel as though it needs a garage but of course i'm gonna go in and do just that so here we have a real simple boxy garage whack on one of these new doors and we're good to go so back over on the other side where we had that greenhouse i got rid of it completely and here i'm probably just going to have a simple seating area stroke barbecue oh my gosh it looks like the exterior is almost done and now moving on to that interior and the first thing i'm going to do is try to get this massive new staircase in and after deleting a few things i think i actually managed to fit it in there was absolutely no way i was going to build a pink palace without this staircase and i can't lie it was looking a bit too cramped so good job i was able to delete more walls without it affecting the layout too much and good job i did because this left me with a more open plan hallway and my plan was to use this space as a cute seating area imagine just coming here after a day out shopping sitting on one of these fancy chairs and taking off your heels and into my pink palace hallway goes my luxury cupid statue now moving into the living room of course i have to get rid of these sofas and change it to these much more fancier ones and this fireplace just looks so lonely and odd over in the corner here so this definitely had to get moved i think it definitely looks better over on this wall here 
and now it serves a purpose and sorry this mirror had to go it just really ain't working with the whole pink palace thing and instead to balance out the whole room i added a bookcase and another little seating area here to be honest i'm not really changing anything here i'm just recoloring doing a few little swaps and rearranging some of the furnishings and guys you will be so surprised of what a difference it makes so moving on to the dining room the most i'm going to do here is probably add a fancier table plus chairs and of course switching up the color scheme to a pink i'm even going to keep a lot of the little decorations that simply bubbly has added but of course just changing up the colors and wow that dining table is looking absolutely amazing and now let's move into the kitchen to be honest there's not much i'm going to change here either i'm probably just going to open it up a bit more so this wall here is going to get deleted but now the transition from the dining room to the kitchen is feeling a lot more flowy and i have totally pinkified the kitchen i mean just look at the difference the only thing i'm really going to be adding are these cabinets right here now every palace needs a cabinet full of fancy china so on this floor we also have a bathroom plus a utility room but i won't be redecorating them because i don't want to bore you to death and it is rather time consuming but instead what i really would like to decorate is the master bedroom but here we are in the master bedroom and first things first i have to replace that bed and this thing here does belong in a garden but i think it will work really well in this room there is quite a lot of clutter in this room for my liking so i'm going to get rid of it i want the palace to have clean open spaces but over here here, i think i'm gonna do a walk-in closet so everything has to be neat and looking organized and every palace princess needs a dressing table so that's what i'm gonna put right here and i'm moving into the bathroom it is a shame that it's a bit on the smaller side but nevertheless i'm still gonna get a bathtub in and with a little rearranging a few finishing touches the build is almost done and here it is guys simply bubbly's marble manor which is now a pink palace And you know what guys i honestly didn't have to do too much to this build because it was built so well in the first place to give it that palace feel i added these icy tiles and basically just added a splash of pink wherever i could i also did a few swaps such as the fencing added a new window and also added windows up on the roof and over on the side here i added a much needed garage and over onto the other side i deleted the greenhouse and instead added a barbecue stroke seating area honestly i am totally amazed how a little bit of color and reorganization completely changed this build and it is probably giving pink mansion more than palace but please just let me have my moment it sounds so much fancier to have a palace and before i forget this build is now coming in at around 435k and considering the cost of living in Bloxburg right now I think it's not bad at all and now into the pink palace we go and I know guys it is a bit of a tight one but I just had to get this staircase in and because of that I tried to open up this space as much as possible I mean to be honest this chandelier looks absolutely massive for this hallway but just imagine sliding down the staircase rail and jumping onto that chandelier and here is the living room of course i changed up the furniture to make it look a lot more fancier and i'm sorry but why does it look so much nicer i also did reorganize a lot of the furnishings so for example i moved the fireplace over here and then over here we have an additional little seating area and now we move swiftly into our pretty pink dining room i don't know why i just really love this room i just really feel the whole layer of the house was built really well in the first place and with the new new color scheme i feel as though that each room flows into another so nicely so i actually love the kitchen the way it was and i didn't have to change much oh gosh i just realized i left the piano outside well never mind at least the kitchen is now looking pretty cute and let's go over to the other side of the palace there is a bathroom and utility room but i didn't get time to redecorate them and if i did i probably would have just recolored 
everything pink and now we'll go and have a little look upstairs oh wait let me just show off my really expensive cupid statue so we have another living room like area right here super cute super pink and oh my gosh i forgot to recolor all of these items seriously this is a criminal offense bloxburg please don't take me to your imaginary jail because we all know what bloxburg is like with the imaginary hospital anyway let's have a look at a room which has been pinkified and here it is the master bedroom it is missing a few things to be honest i did actually forget to go back in and add them but i love this new walk-in closet everything looks so much more organized now and this new bed is to die for it is super cute elegant fancy and cozy i love it and it is definitely fit for a princess and finally we have the bathroom i just switched around a few things and of course added this luxury bathtub and there it is guys simply bubbly's marble manor which i transform into a pink palace low-key pink mansion anyway i hope you like this if you did please give this video a like thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one see ya